Welcome to Guess or Mess, the game show by PragerU Kids. I'm Xavier, and in this show, if you answer a question fast and correctly, you avoid getting totally gross and messy. Yeah. Joining us today, we've got... Melody. And... Ariel. Before coming here, each of you read our PragerU Kids digital magazine about Ulysses S. Grant from our website. Now we're going to see how much of it you remember. Here are your messes for today. Brain goo. Condensed milk. Gumballs. Smelly cheese spray and crackers. Toothpaste. Mystery eggs. Tomato soup spray. Hidden messes. And... A pie in the face. Before we play, Ulysses S. Grant was the 18th president of the United States from 1869 to 1877. He was a famous general who led the Union Army to victory during the Civil War. As president, Grant fought to protect the rights of black Americans and worked to rebuild the nation. Before his passing, he wrote a memoir about his life and time in office. It is now considered a masterpiece of American literature. Are you guys ready to play the game? Yes! Yeah. Everybody, get your hands in the bowl. You're not allowed to take your hands out of the bowl for the entire game. If you do, you lose a point. Understood? Yes. yes. Then let's get started. The youngest player goes first. Let's go, Melody. Ulysses S. Grant was the first president to graduate from where? A, U.S. Military Academy at West Point, B, U.S. Naval Academy, or C, Virginia Military Institute? A the Military Academy at West Point. That is correct. The U.S. Military Academy at West Point. Grant's family could not afford to send him to college, but he attended West Point because it offered free tuition. He graduated in 1843. Grant was the first of two presidents who graduated from West Point, the other being Dwight D. Eisenhower, the 34th president of the United States. Wow, he must have been a really smart guy to go there. Speaking of brains, we've got a nice big brain for you. Have you ever seen a brain in real life? <laughs> well, there's a first for everything here at Guess or Mess. Ew. Wanna to touch it? I'm okay. You sure? Yeah. Well, good thing. It's for you, Ariel. Three, two, one. <laughs> Almost missed your hole. Dude, it actually feels good. Let's go ahead and add that slime all over you. Ew, now I'm all slimy. <laughs> Hey, Ariel, is that brain goo making you feel smarter? No. No? I was hoping that brain goo would help you with the next question. <laughs> what did Grant do in 1859 after inheriting a slave from his wife's family? A, sold the slave, B, freed the slave, or C, kept the slave? B, freed the slave. That is correct, he freed the slave. Grant hated slavery. However, his wife, Julia, came from a family who owned slaves, and they gave Grant one of them, a man named William Jones. Grant was very poor at the time and could have sold the slave for a lot of money, but out of principle, he chose to free Jones instead. Oh, condensed milk. I'm lactose intolerant, so this is like worst case scenario for me. <laughs> you wanna smell it? Let's get a little walk. What do you think of that smell? Is it really that bad? <laughs> it's not that bad. But you're gonna smell like this for a few days now. And there you go. <laughs> oh no, it's on your arms. It's very cold. You want a little in your hair? No. Nah, Just a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel? Disgusted. <laughs> That's pretty common here at Guess or Mess. Question number three goes to Melody. In which war did Grant help preserve the Union by serving as a general? A, Revolutionary War, B, Mexican-American War, or C, Civil War? B, Mexican-American War. That is incorrect. Let's see if Ariel can steal it. Ariel. C, Civil War. That is correct, C, Civil War. During the first two years of the Civil War, Grant went from being an obscure soldier to the top general in the Union Army. He won impressive victories at the battles of Fort Henry, Donelson, Shiloh, and Vicksburg, making him famous across the country. Do you like gum? Yeah. Hopefully they're not actually just colorful snake eggs. <laughs> And there you go. <laughs> now it really looks like you're baking something. But all of it. All of it? If yeah. you say so. <laughs> it helps the smell. It does help the smell. And I don't know who needs to hear this, but stop putting chewed gum underneath your desk. I hope you guys don't do that. <laughs> Next question is for Ariel. 
which president promoted Grant to commander of all Union forces and worked closely with him to win the Civil War? Oh, time is up. Let's see if Melody can steal one back. Abraham Lincoln. That is... Correct, Abraham Lincoln. At first, President Abraham Lincoln had difficulty finding generals willing to do what it took to win the war. But Grant's victories impressed him. Lincoln promoted Grant to general and commander of all Union forces in 1864. Together, Lincoln and Grant led the Union to victory in 1865. The good smells were nice while they lasted because now we have smelly cheese spray. Do you like smelly cheese? No? No. Oh, I'm sorry, but not really. <laughs> it smells like Cheetos. <laughs> mm, actually, it actually smells good. Does it? I do not like cheese. Unpopular opinion. And there you go. You are going to be polka dotted today. I feel like an alien. An alien? <laughs> okay, not all aliens can pull off this cool of a look. And just add a little crunch in your bowl. It is rain and crackers. <laughs> <laughs> What's that sound? I don't know. That means it's time for a Patriot Pop Quiz. Now, each of you get a chance to answer a trivia question about America that was not in your Ulysses S. Grant digital magazine. But there's a twist. You'll both be blindfolded for your question and mess. <laughs> Patriot Pop Quiz question number one goes to Melody. Which president is depicted on the dime? A, Thomas Jefferson, B, Theodore Roosevelt, or C, Franklin D. Roosevelt? C, Franklin D. Roosevelt. That is correct, Franklin D. Roosevelt. President Franklin D. Roosevelt's face was added to the dime in 1946 to commemorate his support of the March of Dimes, an organization founded to treat and care for people with polio. Take a smell, Melody, what do you think that is? Uh, rotten cheese. Oh, if your cheese ever smells like this, you should sue the grocery store. Can you smell that? <laughs> I think it's a snail. Do you see it eating all the cheese on your arm? At least the crackers are protecting me. Oh. Ew. Oh no. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> smells like garbage? No, it smells like orange soda. Orange soda? But infected. Infected orange soda, wow. <laughs> Patriot Pop Quiz question number two goes to Ariel. Which American naval base did the Japanese bomb on December 7th, 1941? Uh, I forgot what it was. Oh, time is up. Melody, can you steal it? <laughs> oh, the answer is Pearl Harbor, which means both of you are getting the next mystery mess. The Japanese launched a surprise military attack against a U.S. naval base in Pearl Harbor in Honolulu, Hawaii on December 7, 1941. The attack led President Franklin D. Roosevelt to ask Congress for a declaration of war, which it gave the following day. The declaration marked America's entry into World War II. Are these spider webs? Oh no, I hope there's not a spider in there. Ew, there might be. Are you scared of spiders? Really? I'm terrified of spiders. You guys are so it brave. It feels weird. It feels like sticky. Spider webs are sticky. That's how they catch the flies. Were you guys flying around before you got here? <laughs> ew, ew, ew. I'm going to give you a little hat and give you a little hat. What am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> now let's take those blindfolds off and see what those messes are. Voila. And for you. Do you know what that is? It's cotton candy. It is cotton candy. And your other mess was artichoke hearts. <laughs> Can I eat it? No. <laughs> Maybe later. And now back to Ulysses S. Grant. Next question is for Melody. Which Confederate general surrendered to Grant at Appomattox Courthouse on April 9th, 1865? Oh, let's see if Ariel can steal it. I'm gonna take a wild guess. John Adams. That is incorrect, but I appreciate the effort. The correct answer is Robert E. Lee. 
From 1864 to 1865, Grant and his army chased Confederate General Robert E. Lee and his army. By March of 1865, Grant trapped Lee in Virginia. On April 9, 1865, Lee surrendered to Grant at Appomattox Courthouse, effectively ending the Civil War. Both of you get the next mess. Let's do some nice toothpaste. Yay. Ew. It's a very pretty colorful bowl. The one's in a circus. <laughs> this show really is a circus, to be honest. And you know what? Can't have toothpaste without a brush. You know, I always wanted to be a dentist. Not really. I don't like saliva. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> Next question is for Ariel. As president, Grant signed which laws to protect black Americans' rights? A, the Missouri Compromise, B, the Enforcement Act, C, the Reconstruction Acts. C, the Reconstruction Acts. That is actually incorrect. Let's see if Melody can steal it. Take a guess. And time is up. The answer is the Enforcement Acts. Many white Southerners, mostly Democrats, were angry that they lost the war in their slaves. They began to enact Jim Crow laws and commit violence against black people. President Grant signed the Enforcement Act to protect black Americans' rights. Both of you get the next mess. Have you guys ever had eggs in your hair? Yeah. Yes. When did you have eggs in your hair? At Easter. Oh, that makes sense. I hope it's confetti. Let's see. It's confetti. Your bowl is so colorful today. The smell like... is not so colorful, though. <laughs> Real eggs for you? Oh, wow, you guys both got confetti. I was really nice to you guys today. It's a celebration. <laughs> Next question is for Melody. What happened during Grant's presidency that damaged his reputation? A, several natural disasters broke out, B, several wars broke out, or C, several scandals broke out? C, several scandals broke out. That is correct, several scandals broke out. President Grant was a man of integrity, but sometimes he was too trusting of his friends and they took advantage of him. During his presidency, several scandals broke out where Grant's friends acted dishonestly and tried to steal money in various ways. This left a lasting stain on his reputation. Speaking of stains, this is one of the worst stains you can get. Tomato soup spray. And there we go. Oh. It's cold. <laughs> oh no, I think it stained your shirt. Maybe I should be a little more careful with my aim. <laughs> That's enough, right? No. You hurt the lady. And for good measure. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't have done that to you. <laughs> now it's time for the final question. And this is an important one. Whoever gets this one wrong gets a pie in the face. But there's another twist. You must hit your buzzer first in order to answer the question. Make sure you listen to all the answer choices before hitting your buzzer. Understood? Then here we go. Grant wrote a document now considered an American literary masterpiece before he died. What is it? A, his inaugural address, B, his memoir, or C, his will? <laughs> What's the answer? His will? That is incorrect. Melody, can you steal it? See his will? That is also incorrect. The answer is his memoir, which means you're both getting a pie in the face. Yay! Was that the goal? <laughs> <laughs> Near the end of his life, Grant was very ill with cancer, but he worked through his pain and completed his autobiography just days before dying. The two-volume Personal Memoirs of U.S. Grant, published by Mark Twain, is considered a great masterpiece of American literature. So the memoir of Ulysses S. Grant is considered a masterpiece. Well, this right here is what I call a masterpiece. You guys like pie? Yeah. Today is double pie time. A little whipped cream for you. This is a masterpiece if I've ever seen one. And there we go. 100 years later. <laughs> some nice strawberry drizzle for you. And some chocolate drizzle for you. Wow, I am so talented. First I was a dentist and now I'm a baker. And some sprinkles. There we go. 
And for you, who wants their pie first? Me. You? I love pie. Do you? It's a mess. <laughs> <laughs> well, Melody, it is your time to get a pie. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> oh. She got it in her mouth. Mm. How is it? <laughs> Here's a little more. <laughs> Ariel, are you ready for your pie? Yep. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> it's yummy. Awesome. Here's what we learned. Ulysses S. Grant was the 18th president of the United States. He led the Union Army to victory as a military leader during the Civil War. As president, Grant signed the Enforcement Acts to protect the rights of black Americans. He wrote a memoir of his life now considered an American literary masterpiece. The winner of our five-point star in American Flag Trophy is... Melody! <laughs> On our flag, red stands for courage, white is for purity, and blue is for justice and perseverance. Our flag is a worldwide symbol for freedom. It belongs to all Americans together as one through our differences. Did you guys have fun today? Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you for playing with us. For being such great sports, both of you are going home with gifts from our PragerU store. And we hope you learned something too. For more fun, visit us at PragerUKids.com and enjoy all of our digital magazines and shows. Now shake hands. Uh-oh. And give each other a high five. <laughs> See you next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching. You know we've got more episodes, right? Watch the whole series on our website. And parents, you can subscribe at PragerUKids.com.